It happens quickly. Whoa. A spout. A dorsal fin. As killer whales, some endangered surface in the Salish Sea off Seattle. Weighing up to 11 tons, they can be hard to see for tourists and ship captains. Oh my gosh. Boats are supposed to stay 400 yards away in the miles of channels and straits across the U.S.-Canada border, including Puget Sound. This is very much a working waterway. Last year, some 300,000 commercial vessels traversed these waters, waters where 23 different species of whales, porpoises, and dolphins swim. Sightings of those species called cetaceans now tracked in a new program led by the U.S. Coast Guard. And this is the nerve center? This is it. <laughs> Lieutenant Commander Margaret Woodbridge gives us a rare look inside the cetacean desk. Is it like an air traffic control center, but for boats? In some ways, yes. Instead of radar. This looks like we have another killer whale report here. The Coast Guard relies on sightings. Looks like one, two, three, four, five. We're hoping to really tap into to all those eyes on the water and get that information into this, this database and alert system. Container ship MSC Savona. So that we can let that larger shipping traffic know um, when there are whales nearby. It's all done on apps. To see how it works, we take to the water with the Coast Guard. Senior Chief Jordan Galloway is our guide. Excellent. Do you see whales every day when you're out? Not every day. Um, just depends on where we're patrolling and where they are. On the bridge of the cutter Adeli, the cetacean desk system is put to use. It was seen today at 1020. 20, yeah, about 40 minutes ago. 40 minutes ago, that's where we're headed now. Yep, and there is, you know, multiple, so. Um, about 30 minutes before that, right around 10 o'clock, you know, another killer whale was seen. Hey, fine, it's this Coast Guard Cutter at L014. Uh, there is direct communication as well. You just got a call in from that white boat. What did they see? Yes, ma'am, this, this boat up here just reported that there was killer whales sighted off their port bow about five minutes ago. And how close are we to where they saw them? We're about a half a mile out now from where they spotted the whales. As we travel, there are freighters and ferries on the waters but no speed limits, making the sightings and warnings to slow down crucial to the survival of the whales, says Noah's Lynn Berry, both above and below the surface. So with 300,000 commercial ships coming through these waters, that creates a lot of underwater noise, I would think. Yeah, we're concerned about the noise from vessels. Different vessels have different sounds that they make that can interfere with the whale's echolocation, that sonar they use to find their food. Does the geography put them on a potential collision course? There is challenging geography here. We've got many islands, we've got small channels, pinch points where whales and ships want to share these waters. And all the vessels, large or small, are supposed to keep their distance, enforced here by the Coast Guard. Hey, how's it going? Good. I know they might have just come up, but just make sure you're staying at least 400 yards away, all right? Thank you. So what you see here, those are killer whales. And there are two different kinds in these waters. One is an endangered species. That is the southern resonant orca. And there are just 74 left. Swimming together in pods, searching for their diminishing prey, Chinook salmon. The orca's dwindling numbers similar to the North Atlantic right whales on the East Coast we told you about last year. Is that a calf? Yes, it is. That calf is one of five right whales reported dead this year. Two from vessel strikes, one caught in fishing gear. Sighting programs are good, says Oceana's Gib Brogan, but not enough. So what needs to be done? We need strong regulations that are put in place to slow the boats down in places where the whales are present. And then we need to enforce those. A proposal to expand mandatory speed zones on the East Coast awaits White House approval. While in these waters, officials tried to chart a new course. We have a pod of about seven or eight orcas traveling southbound. That could be used to save the whales in the Pacific and Atlantic. Ann Thompson, NBC News, Seattle. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.